visit to the region comes against the backdrop of the one-year anniversary of Putin's aggression against Ukraine. This continues to be a cause for hardship for people around the world, including here in Central Asia. The second and third order consequences of this aggression continue uh, to be felt. Indeed, few regions have been more acutely affected than Central Asia, including Uzbekistan, where people continue to shoulder increased food and energy prices. Uh, as always, this is hitting the most vulnerable the hardest. That's why the United States has provided more than $16 million in emergency food aid uh, to this region since President Putin launched his aggression against Ukraine. This hardship makes Uzbekistan's generosity even more remarkable. Uh, the government, the people of Uzbekistan, have stepped up to provide food and medical assistance to Ukraine. They continue to host tens of thousands of Russian citizens who fled their country after President Putin launched his war. Russia's invasion has also fostered deep concern across the region. After all, if a powerful country is willing to try to erase the borders of a sovereign neighbor by force, what's to stop it from doing the same to others? Countries across Central Asia understand this. So does the United States, and so do partners and allies around the world. And that's exactly why we've been committed and remain committed to standing for the sovereignty, the territorial integrity, the independence, not only of Ukraine, but for countries across Central Asia and indeed around the world.